Hello all. In today's video, we are going to look at what is meant by API testing, what is meant by API, and different interview related questions and answers for API. So, first question is what is meant by API? So, API stands for the Application Programming Interface. So, it's a full form of API. It generally specifies how one component should interact with the another component. I will give you a simple example of API. If I want to develop something, okay, I want to do an analysis of whatever the comments I'm getting for my video, right? For example, this video I have made and I'm getting some comments from many of the subscriber and I want to make an analysis of same is how many positive comments are there? How many negative comments are there like that? So it's a nat natural language processing I have to use, right? Means it's a development part. You need not to go into detail for that, but for just sake of understanding what is API, I'm going to give this example. Okay. So this is natural language processing because many of the subscriber gives the comments in various languages and then I need to sort out which comment is positive which comment is negative right so for that particular accessing of the comments I need to use the APIs of YouTube means API is nothing but a application programming interface means I want to access the component of that particular YouTube and by accessing that comment I am going to develop another application which can analyze what comments are the positive and what comments are the negative in short if you want to access any component of particular web service or any web application then this api is used so generally it consists of set of rules or protocols is nothing but the api now we'll move to the next point that is what is meant by api testing as a manual tester or as a software tester you have to more focus on the part that is what is meant by API testing. As we have seen, the API is nothing but an application programming interface and it enables the communication and data exchange from one system to another system, right? And so this API testing is a software testing practice that tests the API directly from means uh, if I want to test the functionality or reliability or performance of any particular system or security, then this API testing is used. So look at the diagram here. There are three layers in presentation that is presentation layer, business layer and database, right? So database is storing all the data related to your particular web application. So I need to do perform a database testing and mainly this API testing is works or is related with the business layer and in presentation layer there is a user interface or we can say there is a function functional testing will perform so now you have to understand what actually we perform during api testing so in api testing we perform at the business layer means here api testing is done to verify the functionality or the behavior of application and verify the sequence of api calls so generally this api testing is we can say it's a challenging part of software uh, for a, uh, we can say for tester because apis can be complicated they can be based on the different protocols or standards so this api testing is mainly done for we can say to check the expected behavior and ver to verify that whether your software is handling a load then to check the application is working on the different hardware and software so api is defined as a set of rules which contains a clearly defined method for communication and api helps different software component to interact with the each other so this particular testing or the api testing is used to check how your software is behaving how it is interacting with the different components is nothing but the api testing now we'll move to the next point that is what are the different tools as a tester we are going to use for api testing so these many tools are available means more than these tools are av also available but these are the some famous tools which are used for the api testing but generally the postman tool is mostly used for api testing now we'll look what is mean by postman postman is actually we can say it's a tool or application which is used for the api testing where you can send the request to a web server and get response back from the web server and check 
whether the response is correct or not so it allow user to set up the headers and the cookies right so here productivity is increased because of using postman because generally this postman is used along with the javascript code so while answering the question of what is postman keep it mind postman is nothing but a tool which works on the http request and response means here we are sending a request to a web server and taking back response from web server to check whether it is behaving correct or not then main important question which is generally asked is what is meant by web service so web service is a collection of open protocols and standards which are widely used for exchanging data between systems or application so as both the terms seems to be similar api is also interacting with the components of web application and this web service is also interacting with the system or it is also useful for exchanging the data so what is the main difference between the web web service and api so this is also important question so keep in mind the web service is a collection of open source protocol and standards used for exchanging data between systems and application but api is a software interface that allows two application to interact with each other without using in user involvement because here we are directly using the apis means application programming interface of that particular web application into our code means as, a, as per the example i have given i can directly use the api of youtube or any web application for fulfilling my purpose or whatever the expected output is in mind for that i am going to use a api but in web service what happens it is a collection of protocols and it use for exchanging the data between systems or application so this is the main difference between api and web application then the main question is what included in api call so generally api call as we have seen in api testing the http request is sent to a web server and we are taking response from it and checking the output right so here in api call generally include the two parts http request and http response so first what is mean by http request http request is the simplest way possible to make a http calls means i want something from web server so i need to request so there is some standard format you cannot directly type anything and ask for the details there is specific format is known as http request so what is mean by requesting method so requesting method defines a type of request made means what i actually want so these are the following methods which are commonly used in the postman so the first method is post request post request means what for creating or updating a data if i want to update something then i am going to use a request named as a post for updating if i want to just update the data if i want to create something i will use a post but if i want to update something i will just write down a put over there means something is already created and just i want to add one data into it then i generally prefer a put request and if i want to retrieve already available data from the web server then i am going to use a get request and in if i want to delete something i am going to use a delete request then what is mean by http response from web server what response i am going to get so on sending a request this post put get delete these are the request which i am going to send to a web server now after receiving a response so what actually the response contain on the api response consists of bodies cookies header tests status codes and some response time will be there so generally mostly the questions will be on what are the different status code are you get from the web server so these are the some codes like if you got a 200 that is the request is successful if you got a code like 201 for successful request and data was created if you got 204 for empty response if you got 400 it's for bad request 
means it, the request is not understood if you have made some mistake while sending the request then you will get a 400 405 means for unauthorized access 403 for forbidden means the access is denied for you 404 is for data not found this 404 for generally you see you have seen most of the times on the uh, web pages right means you, if you you hit any url and that web page is not available there then you will go, go get or you have seen most of the time this 404 response right error 404 is nothing but data not found 405 means for method not allowed or request method is not supported and 500 means for internal server error and 503 is for service unavailable so these are the many response code or status code you have to remember then the most important question is what are the different types of web services so there are generally a two main types of web services that is first one is a soap that is simple object access protocol and second is the rest that is representational state transfer so these are the two types of web services then if they will ask you about the tell me real time examples of web services so web services means any website you can say so for example amazon will be there or irt city website which you are using for ticket booking or any any website like big book by show these are the different examples of the web services then the next question is what is soap as we have seen the full form soap is nothing but a simple object access protocol always keep in mind protocol is nothing but a set of rules which are set for a specific task so soap is a protocol so soap is an xml based protocol that helps in transferring data between different computers or the system all the http requests are in xml format right so this soap is a one protocol which sets the rule for transferring data between different application then what is mean by rest rest is a representational state transfer it's itself not a standard but while you are using various standards such as http url xml or html or gif jpg and text xml text html or image gif so this is used there so Keep in mind REST stands for the representational state transfer, but it is not a standard. It's just helping or we can say it uses while you are sending some HTTP request or uh, different types of uh, URLs at that time. This REST is useful. So thank you all. Please do comment on which point you want next video. I try my best to make that. Please do subscribe to our channel and please check all the videos which i have made and link is given in the description box also check the i button for whole playlist related to other videos thank you all